at 10.35, the Christmas morning service from St George's Chapel in Windsor. But now, it's uh, Emu at Christmas. Never mind, it's Christmas Day and we're going to be all nice and cosy to pick with me, won't we? Well, we'll try. Let's finish the decorations, shall we? Yes, I, yes, I know, the paper change, yes. And because it is Christmas Day, I'm going to let you paint them. There's the brush, right? What's about? Ice. I told you it was cold in here, didn't I? Well, never mind, we'll just, we'll just hang them up. Get the hammer. See, I got the nail. We've got a paper change. Right. Right. Up here. Give me the nail. Oh. Thank, thank you, I've got the nail. Now where's the, where's the hammer? Oh. It's a minute. Right, thank you. you got the hammer. Where's the nail? Oh. You keep doing that. Yes, I'll do it. I, no, I, that's not much to hang up, is it? There's a nail there. Now take a good swing back and we. Ah! Emu, well, help us up then. Not, not by the hair. Let go. I wonder where you put that piece of holly. I felt it then too. I tell you what, we won't bother with any paper chains this year. No, we're just, just make do with our, our balloons, eh? There. Yeah, oh, never mind. Oh, isn't it cold? I bet that fire's gone out. Yeah. Oh, I thought that. Trust a fire to go out on Christmas Day. <laughs> You know, I miss the kids, though, don't you? Look, Peak Mill Post Office, all closed up for winter. Yeah, I should miss them today. All their singing and dancing and... Here, yeah, look. A Christmas card. It's from the kids, from their holiday hotel in Scotland. And they've all signed it. Dear Rod and Evie, thinking of you two spending Christmas on your own, cosy and warm in the pink... Pink windmill. Now that look, they sent a photograph of themselves outside their hotel. I bet they're having a super celebration.
No, no, you, no, you can't. You can't jump into the card and enjoy them. What a load of old cods for them. Ha! Gotta spend Christmas on their own. Well, it serves them right. Because I'm going to have a super Christmas with lots of decorations and cakes and goodies and the magnificent friend. Oh, he's coming to spend Christmas with me. Everything must be just right. Let's get me mistletoe up. Redford! Redford! What is it? I'm trying to make the Christmas pudding. Oh, yes, and Mrs. Grotbass, you're supposed to put money in the Christmas pudding, not IOUs. Oh, never mind about that. Is everything ready for the magnificent Fred's visit? Oh, what a honour. And this personal manservant, too. What was trained here in my establishment? My dear Croc. Oh, yes, and that's another thing. If you think that I'm sharing my room with that... Croc! Well, you've got another thing coming, dear. <laughs> I mean, a crocodile. What about the smell? Oh, Croc will get used to it. <laughs> Charming! <laughs> oh. oh, he's here. Oh, oh Queen Crocsback, you're mighty worried, sir. Croc! Thinks she's standing under some mistletoe. Oh, how dare you! That's very personal! That mistletoe is there for Fred! Oh, I'm back. Redford, Redford, Redford! Is there really any need for all that? Well, you're not standing where I am, dear. Oh, uh, Croc, um, where is your master, the magnificent Fred? My guest? He'll be arriving uh, shortly. Your magnificent expanse. Oh, 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 magnificent expanse. Oh, oh, you can say that again, ducky. Oh, 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 oh. Quiet, you two. Just my luck to have two stupid assistants. Look at them. One's a walking handbag, and the other one is an animated dustbin. Oh, oh, I see. It's insult time again, is it? Oh, here. Was she like this with you? Oh. Croc, tell me exactly what it is that the magnificent Fred likes, and he shall have it. I want this to be the bestest Christmas what he's ever had. Um, a decoration. Oh, yes, yes, I've got loads of those. Look. Uh, a present. Yes, yes. Yeah, you'll notice there's nothing under that tree for me and you. Oh. And a good Christmas dinner. Oh, yes. Yes, he shall have the best. I've got Christmas puddings covered in garlic sauce. I've got mince pies made out of rat's meat. And, of course, my own speciality, roast mole. Oh, he doesn't like roast mole. Oh, no. For Christmas dinner, the magnificent Fred always has roast emu. Roast emu? But I haven't got enough stuffing for a mole. And besides, we haven't got an emu. Ha <laughs> ha! Not yet we haven't. But if the magnificent Fred wants roast emu, then he shall have roast emu. But, 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 Mrs. Grotbank, you can't mean... Oh, I most certainly do. Emu and that streaky bonehead rod are all down there on their own. There's no opposition from any brats. Ah, come on, we're going on a mission. But your royal protuberance, it's Christmas. Yes, and we don't go on missions on Christmas Day. Oh, yes, we do. Get the hover drop ready. Ouch. Oh, it's like I'd never been away. <laughs> And I wish I'd never come. Oh. Emu, where are you? Come on, where are you? Ha-ha. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, I know what that is. That's our monster Christmas tree. Yeah. All right, give up. Where are you? There you are. But... What have you got on? A shawl? Oh, that's a good idea, Emu, because it's freezing in here, isn't it? Have you got anything in there for me? 
Have you? Well, can, I, can I have it? Thank you very much. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, did you enjoy our Christmas game? You did? Oh, that's good then. What should we do now, eh? I know. Let's pull a Christmas cracker, shall we? Because I've got one left over from last year. Somewhere. I can find it. Got it. Now, don't forget, whoever gets the biggest piece has all the presents inside, all right? Hold it. No, don't take it off. That's cheating. Just hold the end. And be careful for the bang. OK, pull. Nothing in it. No bang. Must have been a dub one. I haven't got any more, I'm afraid. Still, it's a good try, wasn't it? I know. I'll put this on the fire. I'm trying to get the fire going, shall I? For Christmas. Here. Leave you. I bet it's nice and warm and cosy in Boggles Kingdom. Yeah, I bet it is. wonder what my great-great ancestor's doing, locked away in his time zone. <laughs> in here and I'm trying to cook the Christmas dinner. It's the odd job to deny you we're getting a big log for the big fire in the great hall, my dear. Very much to me, John. Oh, 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 shut the door because we're tense and screw the, oh. the fire's up there. Stick. Careful now, John. Let's go this way. Over, over, to, over to me. Ah! Oh. Down. I'll have to have a rest, John. Oh, what? What heavy log? Bogle! What's this? It's cream, my dear. I know it's cream. Where's the log? Where's well, sir? Uh... I mean, you can see, I mean, it was very heavy, too, because I was, uh, uh, weren't we? <laughs> Your Majesty, I think a Royal Highness means the one, the one that's under this. Oh, that one. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh it, it's, 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 it's Christmas. The one time of year when I brim over with goodwill and friendship. Oh, yeah. I'll just have to make another log, that's all. Would you kindly move that big one from my table, Boggle dear? Certainly, Hortensia, sister dear. Oh, this is very good, John. Put it over the couch. Oh, yes, uh, it's Christmas, and we must all be friends at Christmas. Uh, our job, John. I'm going to allow you to sit with us by the fire in the Great Hall. Oh, Thank you, Your Royal Highness. But not for long, because you're still a peasant. Uh, quite so. Don't sit there! I mean, uh, there are things to do. I want some more holly Ooh. and mistletoe yes. and evergreens. And old job John, you collect the duck's eggs. I have once. And Boggle, some more logs for the fire. Yes. We'll all have a happy Christmas. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> Christmas, right this very minute. Candles at the window, carols at the spinners. Yes, we need a little Christmas, right this very minute. It hasn't snowed a single flurry, but Santa dear, we're in a hurry, so climb down the chimney, turn on the brightest string of lights I've ever seen. Slice up the fruit cake. It's time we hung some tinsel on that evergreen bough. For we need a little music, need a little laughter, need a little singing, 
Ringing through the rattle and we need a little snappy Happy ever after, need a little Christmas now Climb down the chimney It's been a long time since I felt good neighborly Slice up the fruitcake It's time we hung some tinsel on that evergreen bar We need a little Christmas Right this very minute Candles in the window And carols in the spinet Oh, we need a little snappy Happy ever after We need a little, need a little Need a little, need a little Need a little Christmas Right this very minute Candles at the window Carols at the spinet Yes, we need a little Christmas Right this very minute We need a little of year this is? Yes, my dear. It's Christmas. Oh, we need a little Christmas. Yes! Oh, right. It's the one time of year that the magic screen that surrounds this kingdom finally disappears for a few hours. It's our one chance to get into the outside world. My dear, we've always known that, you see. But what we don't know is when the magic screen comes back, you no. see. And we do want to be out there when it comes back and be locked out there, do we? No, no, no. We should stay here with us. Christmas Eve. Oh, we need a little Bargo, Christmas. you say the same thing every year. Well, this year, I'm not missing out on my chance. I'm going to the outside world. Hey, just give me the odd job, John. You're not going to go to the outside world, too, right? Oh, I'm busy, Your Majesty. Just to see that no harm comes to her. Look, odd job number seven. Bodyguard to the royal family. Just a minute. I'm the royal family too, you know. That's nobles obliged, that is. Anyway, all right. You'll miss my Christmas Day message to the peasants. Oh, oh. Right, just sit here. Yes. Where it's nice and warm and cosy and lonely. Wait for me. I'm the king. Wait for me. Off of there. Oh. Don't get into the bank. Croc, get out of there. I'm driving this. But Come on, Mrs. Grotbags, we'll never all fit in. This thing wasn't built for three. Redford, get out of there. Oh. I'm driving this. Well, if you think that I'm going to walk, you can think again. Oh, oh I put up with enough as it is. Now hang on. I'm going to start the engines. We won't get very far. We might go up, but we'll soon come down again because we're overloaded. Oh, she's overloaded anyway. Well, don't blame me if we don't get there. Belt up, you overgrown Come on, we're going to get that magnificent Freddy's favourite Christmas dinner. Roast emu. Hold tight. Go. Ooh, 
I'm gonna have myself a ball. This old world, I'm gonna see it all. I've got my coat back and we're leaving right away. Cause I like the feeling I get when I'm riding the jet. Say I'm going places. I like the feeling I get when I'm riding in a jet. Say I'm going places. I knew we wouldn't get very far. Belt up, you! Oh, it's like Star Trek gone mad. Oh. What can you see, odd job, John? I can see some people from the outside world, Your Majesty. Oh, what do they look like? Well, I can see what looks like a knight in golden armour. Uh, he's talking to a witch, and they're walking with a crocodile. Monsters! Oh, come on, bogger! Oh, can't, can't we go back to the safety of the kingdom while the screen is still... Uh, yeah. Well, you can go back if you want to. Personally, I've waited to get into the outside world all my life, and I'm not missing the chance now. Oh, what about those, those monsters? They're not monsters. Probably ordinary people going to a masquerade. You know, in fancy dress. After all, Boggle, it is Christmas, you know. Oh, come on, odd job, John. Let's go and follow them. They might lead us to a village or something. Oh, you can go. You'll be sorry. <laughs> I'll stay here. <laughs> no, won't. There might be more monsters. Wait for me. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait for this, can you, Emu? Oh, our one bit of Christmas cheer. No, don't eat it now. We'll put it in the oven and get it all hot, eh? Make ourselves warm. Oh, happy Christmas. It's gonna be good. Our one bit of Christmas cheer blown up. But you can't blow up, that's all, all we had for Christmas. Perhaps there's a great big chocolate cake in the pantry. Well, we'll have a look. We, we might get a surprise. You never know. Father Christmas may have put one in there. One old cheese sandwich. Feel like a bit of cheese sandwich? Even the mice wouldn't eat that. Not a very good Christmas, is it, Emu? We never had much luck with the decorations either, did we? You're quite right about Christmas games. It's no good playing Christmas games when there's just the two of us. And the cracker didn't work, did it? Nobody got any funny hats or prizes and... Oh, I wish the kids were here, don't you? I miss them. Still, I expect they're having a nice time on their holiday in Scotland. It's one good thing anyway. Ooh, it's getting colder. Ooh. I know what we'll do. We'll cheer ourselves up with some Christmas music, shall we? It's always good to have Christmas music at Christmas. Make us feel all jolly, Evian. Against him in there. There, have yourself a merry little Christmas and let your heart be light from now on. Our troubles will be out of sight 
Christmas, Grot Bags. Merry Christmas? Is that all you can say? No, we're, we're very pleased to see you, aren't we, Emu? Even you, you see, because, well, we were going to spend Christmas on our own, weren't we? But now that you're here, well, we, we can all play games and things. Oh, goody, goody. Oh, I love playing games. Here, Bugs me play Postman's Knock. <laughs> yes. And after that, squeak, piggy, squeak. <laughs> I'll make you squeak in a minute. Take that. Oh, oh squeak, squeak. Well, go on, get them. No, no, Quickly, Redford. No, 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 it's, it's crock. It's Follow him. No, over this way. Redford, that way. No, well no, done, Redford. No. You missed him. Quickly, no. crock. Stop messing about. <laughs> Grab old that emu at all cost. Redford, Redford, quickly. Grab that emu. Come on. Well no. done. Put him over here. Emu! At last! At last I've done it! I wish Rock Bags have triumphed! If I rode the world every Stop. day... Stop! We've been watching you three through the window and we've seen everything. Yes, and what a terrible trio you are. Oh, please, miss. It wasn't me. No, nor me. Mind you, I'm easily led. Well, I'm arresting you three in the name of Good King Boggle. That's me. And you can return that poor emu to that fellow. At once! Just a minute! How dare you interfere with my mission! Don't you know who I am? I am Witch Grotbags! <laughs> And I am the Princess Hortensia, from the royal household of Whimsical Castle. And we, in Boggle's kingdom, have a way of dealing with ugly, big, fat, green, pug-nosed, over-bloated pumpkins like you. Oh, very pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I'd like to thank you all very much. You, you've certainly saved the day. Um, I'm, I'm Rod. I'm a job John Baxter. And I'm the Princess Hortensia. Oh. And I'm Good King Boggle. And I am the Magnificent Fred. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Now you're all for it. Give it to him, Fred, especially that one there. Quiet! But, Magnificent Fred, I'm doing all this for you. I'm here getting you that emu for your favourite Christmas dinner. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, what a kind thought, witch grot bags. <laughs> Proceed with your mission. <laughs> Just a minute. <laughs> Oh, 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 Johnny, this place is full of monsters, you know. We should go back to the kingdom. Now, we'll have no more interference. <laughs> you may do as you please, witch grot bags. Oh, goody, goody, goody. See? But first, <laughs> I'll take that sack. Croc, bring it to me. Uh, but, but, Magnificent Fraid, that was going to be your Christmas dinner. Yeah. You know, when you were going to come up to the fortress with me. Yes. Yes, but now that I have my own Christmas dinner, I've no need to come to your dirty, smelly fortress. <laughs> oh, no! No! You may all do as you please. <laughs> and a Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs> come along with me, my little evil. <laughs> Dear, yeah, you see, and it takes a little child to, to tell you to stop all this fighting. I don't know who you people are, but she's right. Especially at this time of the year, we should live in friendship and peace. Well said, Boggle. Yes. Three cheers for my ancestor. Good King Boggle. Hip it! Hooray! Hip it! Hooray! Hip it! I know. Let's have a party. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, we have a row. Yeah, but it's very nice, but we, we haven't got anything. All we've got is an old cheese sandwich. That's all right, Rod. When we decided to join you, we brought some goodies with us. Come some on. goodies? Oh, look, Christmas tree and crackers, presents. Oh, oh look at this. Come on, let's have some music. Yeah. Shall we have some music? Could have done so nice. 
What good is melody? What good is music? If it ain't possessing something sweet It ain't the melody It ain't the music There's something else that makes that tune complete It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing It don't mean a thing All you gotta do is swing Swing, 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 swing difference if it's sweet or hot just give that rhythm everything you've got they don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing do a 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 swing 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 it don't mean a thing if it ain't got Carol Lee Scott is now appearing at the Marlowe Theatre in Canterbury. Hey, 